Tonight, the people who know this young man, Dylan Lyons, are mourning a tragic loss. Dylan was one of three people shot and killed in Florida Wednesday. Two other people were shot and are fighting to stay alive right now. Kristen Benavides, take us to Florida, where authorities just released new details in the case. Keith Melvin Moses sits behind bars in Central Florida, a day after allegedly carrying out a deadly shooting rampage. Bullets don't only kill victims, they rip apart entire families. Authorities say the 19-year-old shot and killed a woman, identified as 38-year-old Natasha Augustine, Wednesday morning in the Pine Hills neighborhood as she sat in a car with a friend. Five hours later, the suspect returned to the scene, injuring photographer Jesse Walden and killing 24-year-old reporter Dylan Lyons, who were there on assignment. A local TV reporter was overcome with emotion. This is every reporter's absolutely worst nightmare. Corey Golikowski attended middle and high school with Lyons. He was always kind and always, uh, you know, full of energy and acceptance. For unknown reasons, police say Moses also entered a home and shot a mother and her nine-year-old daughter. They were transported to the hospital where unfortunately and tragically nine-year-old Tiana Major died from her injuries. At Thursday's news conference, Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings announced officials will reestablish a citizen safety task force to address gun violence. We are committed uh, to utilizing our funding, your tax dollars in an appropriate way to address these issues going forward long term. Authorities say Moses had a lengthy criminal history, which included gun charges. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. Now that young girl's mother and a photojournalist were also shot, both hospitalized tonight in critical condition.